I want us to think about how we can prepare for this time the way that we prepare for Ramadan. And I know it's not Ramadan, right? And one thing that I'd always uh, share with people in the past is that the difference between the 10 of the Hijjah and Ramadan in normal years is that there's an entire community feel around Ramadan, right? There's the masjid, there's tarawih, there's everyone is fasting together. There's a sense of community that makes the ibadah of Ramadan more prominent in our lives, more pronounced. It, it's easier to practice. But the 10 of the Hijjah are always kind of, you know, left out because it's, uh, it doesn't have the communal celebration that we're that we're used to with Ramadan. And now, of course, this year's Ramadan was very different, but uh, still I would say that uh, we don't avail ourselves often of the first 10 of the Hijjah, the best 10 days of the year. And last year I did the virtues of the Hijjah series. So inshallah ta'ala, if you go and you uh, catch up with those 10 inshallah ta'ala uh, as well, where we talk about some of the virtues of uh, these days and of this month, uh, that we often don't take into consideration. But this is merely a reminder to plan for these 10 days the way you would plan for Ramadan. What do I mean by that? Um, plan your days of fasting from now. Plan your Quran. How much Quran do you want to finish? If you can read a juz a day, alhamdulillah. If you can really push yourself uh, to finish the Quran in these 10 days. I know it's a lofty goal, but three juz a day even, and finish the Qur'an these 10 days, alhamdulillah. Have a khatam uh, for the first 10 days of the hijjah alhamdulillah. Plan out your dua, your time for dua. Plan out your qiyam. Make it a point to pray qiyam every one of these nights if you can, inshallah ta'ala, even if it's for a small amount of time. But plan it out to say, I'm going to treat these 10 days like they are the most important 10 days of the year because that's what the Prophet Sallallahu said. And he specifically said, Ali Salatu Wasalam, that there are no 10 days in which good deeds are more beloved to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So what's my regimen for good deeds? What's my plan for good deeds? Now, the thing about these 10 days is that it's not like Ramadan where, you know, you kind of get into the rhythm over the first few days and then the best 10 are the last 10. You're just thrust into the first 10 days of the Hijjah and you probably have not had, the, you know, the, the, the opportunity to spiritually uh, prepare yourself but inshallah ta'ala, it's, it's, it's still an opportunity to catch up and to actually uh, write this down, to actually make a plan. We still have at least a day inshallah ta'ala before the hijjah starts. Write down your plan, write down your deeds, schedule out what you plan to do. And also remember that, you know, the, the greater the time, the greater the good deed, the greater the sin as well. So be very careful not to do anything that would earn the displeasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these 10 days as well. So be mindful, especially of your social media usage. Be mindful of your conversations. Be mindful of your tongue. 